Car brands that no longer exist. There are some super unique cars out there. Some have no roof, some are extremely small, and some look super luxurious. These cars are usually only owned by high-class families, luxury restaurants, museums, or avid collectors. Some of these cars are even covered in dirt, wasting away in some garage. In today's video, we're gonna take you on a cruise with these jaw-dropping vehicles that are no longer produced. But before that, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for updates on more amazing videos. So fasten your seatbelts because we are flooring it into a world of cars that no longer exist. Apperson Brothers Automobile Company, a vintage car maker that was mostly aimed at royalty and the top political leaders in Asia was Apperson. It was founded in 1902 by two brothers named Elmer and Edgar Apperson. This was one of the most expensive car makers ever produced. The target was to sell only 15 Apperson Jack Rabbits, a copy of the famous racing car Vanderbilt. The car had 96 horsepower and went up to 75 miles per hour. It cost $5,000, which today is approximately $131,000. However, from 1924 to 1926, their sales hemorrhaged and they decided to end the brand. There was a rumor that they may make a return, but it has never happened. Auburn Automobile Company. Just like the Apperson brothers, this company was also made by two brothers. In 1903, Frank and Morris Eckert introduced the first car with a single cylinder that was also water-cooled. The price of this car was approximately $1,500. It was economical with high-quality technology, and it was also fairly stylish. The brothers sold the company to an investor in Chicago in 1918. Sales were skyrocketing. By 1931, they had produced 33,000 automobiles. But as Great Depression resulted in the loss and closure of many brands, Auburn Automobiles suffered the same fate in 1937. Chalmers Motor Company Many car brands have giveaways for major sports events, brands including Audi, Hyundai, and many others. As for Chalmers Motor Company, they were actually founded by a baseball fan. They started by running a PR campaign by gifting players this antique car. Founded in 1908 by Hugh Chalmers, the CEO of the National Cash Register, his interest led him to leave the NCR and start a company producing high-quality automobiles. In 1911, their sales peaked at 6,000-plus vehicles. But from 1908 to 1913, the design remained untouched. While other brands were busy creating new designs every two years, Chalmers was busy with his new automobile company, Saxon Motors. Not only this, but they also raised the price, which means old design, old quality, at higher rates. This was undoubtedly the cause of the drop in sales as the market was flooded with more than 20 brands with cars containing more advanced technology. In 1917, they merged with Maxwell Automobiles to create Maxwell Chalmers Automobiles, which was eventually merged into Chrysler. DeLorean Motor Company The father of gull-winged car doors and of Back to the Future fame, DMC is one of the most famous two-seater cars of all time. A body made of stainless steel to avoid rust was a big factor in boosting sales. With a price tag of almost $13,000, later raised to $25,000, the car was not the most affordable option. The production of DMC-12 came to an end in December 1982. Rumor has it, John DeLorean, the owner of DMC, was out of cash, bankrupt, and was unable to continue. But as I said before, it was a rumor and was never confirmed. And what was the cause of closing DMC? Well, John DeLorean was arrested on drug trafficking charges, but was found not guilty. Still, it resulted in a huge loss, and the company never recovered. Duesenberg Motors Company A car brand used mostly by royals and famous Hollywood actors. They were considered the most expensive brand, with a price tag of almost $9,000 for their vehicle. Talk about making your heart skip a beat. Just have a look at that exterior. Ooh la la! This well-designed luxury car was the apple of everyone's eye. But what caused them to end production? Another victim of the Great Depression, but this company survived and hit millions in sales. Eventually, the company was sold and dissolved. These antique cars can still be found in auctions, often selling for close to a million dollars. Well, I do love this car. It was truly an iconic car with a luxurious style. What do you think? Fisker Automotive. Looks like a car from the 20th century, but it's actually from the 2010s. The brand closed its doors within two years. Fiskers are considered one of the most stylish brands, sort of my dream car too. 
the Fisker Karma was the first plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. In 2011, it started its delivery, but in 2012, the sales were suspended. What a short time, right? The reason behind it was that the battery company faced bankruptcy. They only sold 2,000 vehicles in total and could never recover from the tremendous loss. Studebaker Automobile Company Another electric car brand comes and goes. At the beginning of the 20th century, they produced electric cars, but in 1904, shifted to gas-powered cars. They boasted amazing sales, even through the Great Depression, also managing to produce military trucks during World War I. But what caused its disappearance? In 1954, it was purchased by Packard Motor Car Company just to compete with up-and-coming brands GM, Ford, and Chrysler. Even a company that thrives through the toughest times while the rest of the world suffers and not escape buyouts from massive companies. Hummer, the one you've all waited for, Hummer. A very controversial style to say the least, some love it and some despise it. The best-selling car of the 90s, this vehicle was launched in 1992. It gained huge popularity in the market. Another company that made some SUVs for the military as well. Hummer was eventually sold and dissolved as part of GM, but GM ceased sales of Hummers in 2009. After only a year, the company faced bankruptcy. Comment your favorite Hummer moment in the comments section. Triumph. And lastly, we have the British car manufacturer, Triumph. In 1930, Triumph started its journey into car manufacturing, previously being a bicycle company. The company decided to make expensive cars to compete with the luxury cars in the market, but all that glitters is not gold. In 1936, they suffered a massive financial loss and the fate of Triumph was sealed during the Great Depression. Well, that's all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment your favorite of these brands down below. Also, give a thumbs up by hitting the like button. Stay tuned for further videos. Oh, and I forgot to tell you that we upload two videos a week. Sometimes I'm very absent-minded. <laughs>